and this is Rebecca's Roadmap. And here on my channel, we talk about how to build your personal roadmap. A roadmap to your dream life, a life that you love. And we've been talking about roadblocks um, or reasons why you may not be achieving your goal. They're kind of one and the same thing. Um, and one of those reasons, or reason number one, is that you don't know what you want. So we were doing um, a dream life, uh, envisioning a dream life exercise. Um, that was a lost video, and I'll link that down below. But you may have had a little trouble with that if you watched it. So I thought that I would kind of give you a second option, just in case you're having trouble. Or maybe you needed just a little extra help or a little more information. So here goes the second exercise. Envision, we have to envision again. Envision that you are talking to your 100 year old self. Now your 100 year old self has all the answers. They've already lived the life. They know what they regret. They know what they're proud of. Um, they know the life that they have lived. So you can ask questions of your 100 year old self. What kind of life did you lead? How did you get there? What does your life look like at 100? Do you have children? Did, your own, you, did you own your own business? Did you live on a farm? Did you retire? Do you have children? Do you have grandchildren? Do you have great-grandchildren? What did you accomplish in your life? So as you ask yourself, your 100-year-old self, as you ask your 100-year-old self these questions, answers will pop up in your head. Trust me, they will. Um, so as you ask yourself these questions, your 100-year-old self these questions, as you ask your 100-year-old self these questions, um, answers will come to you. So write those down. And once you know where you ended up as your 100-year-old self, you can kind of reverse engineer to see where you need to start. If you know this is your endpoint, this is your destination, you can work backwards and figure out, well, how did I get there? So, um, I don't know if this will help you, but I thought I'd throw it out there just in case it did. And realize that you can go back and forth. You can envision um, your perfect day today. And then if you kind of get stuck, you can go back over here and say, oh, well, where did I end up? Okay, what did I need to do on a daily basis to get here? And then go back here and add it to um, your perfect day, your perfect dream life. So you can go back and forth um, until you can create what you think is a good dream life, a good vision for the life that you want to lead. But also remember, you can also change this. But also remember, you can always change this. It's not set in stone. Just because you envision it today doesn't mean that you can't tweak it and make changes tomorrow. But also realize that probably the basics, the foundations that um, you're building your life on, those will probably remain the same. Things like, do you want a family? Do you want pets? Are you gonna live in a big house and you're gonna have people over all the time or are you gonna entertain? Or are you a loner? Do you like to work alone? Do you like solitude? These are kind of, I guess, basic personality traits that aren't gonna change no matter um, if you're living in Kentucky or you're living in Hawaii, these things will remain foundations in your life. So I hope this helps you. So know that you can always talk to your 100 year old self if you need some answers. Um, but you can also talk to your grandma or your aunt or your uncle or any other elderly people in your life. Talk to them and see um, how they got to where they are in their lives, um, what they did on a daily basis to get there, what are their regrets in their life, uh, what are their greatest joys. 
so the elderly in our community are a great resource. Um, I don't think we use them enough. So you can talk to your 100 year old self or you can talk to a real person who's probably close to 100. So at any rate, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please subscribe below if you haven't already so I can keep coming to you. Um, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. And as always, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.